Dynamic Load Testing of Drilled Shafts On a construction site in a downtown area, drilled shafts have been constructed, but no superstructure is in place. The bearing capacity of the drilled shafts will be evaluated by a high-strain dynamic load test. A large drop weight is necessary for the test, and in this case, it is modular. A crew stacks the modular blocks until a sufficiently large weight is achieved. An engineer attaches accelerometers and strain transducers to the upper portion of the shaft. These instruments measure how the shaft responds to the impact of the drop weight. The measurements are then used to calculate the soil resistance. The weight is now released and impacts the top of the shaft. The test is repeated with higher and higher drop heights and therefore increasing input energy levels. An engineer watches the screen of a special instrument displaying the measurements obtained with the accelerometers and strain transducers. The energy of the impact must be sufficient to activate the capacity of the shaft, which means that the shaft should move a small distance under the ram impact. This distance cannot be easily seen, but it can be measured and observed on the screen of the instrument. The engineer also monitors the stresses that the shaft experiences during the test to keep them at a level that avoids damage to the foundation. The high strain dynamic load test works on the principle that the impact of the drop weight generates a stress wave that travels down the shaft and reflects back to the top. The animation shows the principle behind the high strain dynamic load test. A stack of horizontal slices represents the shaft, which is hit by the drop weight. The uppermost rectangle increases in width, demonstrating an increase in compressive stress. The slices below it successively change in width, mimicking a stress wave traveling down, reaching the bottom of the shaft, and then reflecting back up. The accelerometers and strain transducers attached near the top of the shaft measure the magnitude of the incident and reflected stress waves. The response of the shaft is apparent from the reflected stress wave that appears on the screen of the testing instrument. That reflected stress wave is primarily a function of the foundation bearing capacity, which is what the test intends to evaluate. The test engineer analyzes field data on an office computer and uses signal matching software to calculate the total bearing capacity and the resistance distribution along the shaft. The software also simulates a static load test, presenting results in the form of a load settlement curve that engineers are accustomed to. A graph shows a good correlation between bearing capacities from high-strain dynamic load tests and those from static load tests. Codes, standards, and manuals of practice all over the world require or encourage dynamic load tests and may allow them to partially replace static tests. High-strain dynamic load tests have been used to mobilize test loads of up to 4,000 tons.